And I'm here with Mike Quincy, auto content specialist for Consumer Reports Magazine. Mike, one of the cool parts of your job is, one, you get to drive a really cool different car every day and some really high-end models. We won't get into that. You also get to go to all the auto shows. And you were at the 2014, officially, the North American International Auto Show. That's, that's the one we all call the Detroit, Detroit auto, show. auto Show. Kind of the granddaddy of them all. Is, is it still, I mean, to, to get off of what went on there, just talk about it. Detroit headquarters of the American automotive industry, is that still the place to go and see what's coming? I, in terms of, 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 a, uh, of the auto shows within our borders, yeah, Detroit is still the premier show. Uh, but you're also competing in, in worldwide shows in Frankfurt and Tokyo <clears throat> and things like that. Mm -hmm. But Detroit is where we go. And, and I, I loved your intro. You're like, you know, Mike gets to do all these great things. Mike gets to go to Detroit in January. Well, okay. Yay! <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. That's fair enough. But it's all about the cars. All right. And you're inside. That's, you know, good point. Okay. GM. They got car of the year with the Chevy Corvette Stingray. Truck of the year with the Chevy Silverado. What was Chevy showing the folks that got them two of those fairly prominent awards at the show? Well, these are the North American car truck of the year voted on by, by journalists. And just like any car of the year awards, you kind of have to take it with a certain grain of salt. Uh, but but, but uh, th this, these awards made General Motors very proud. Uh, I mean, you have to remember a few years ago, they were basically bankrupt. Uh, are they going to survive at all? And, and they've really come back with with impressive products. The, the, the Impala, which didn't get any awards, but, but did very well in Consumer Reports test, is one of the best family sedans out there. The new Silverado uh, is, is the top rated truck in Consumer Reports testing. And, and the new Stingray is fabulous. It looks great, it drives great. We have one at the track waiting for the snow to melt these days, and we're gonna be testing it. So General Motors has, they're, they're patting themselves on the back, but, 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 but for, for, good, for good reason. Ford made some noise, <clears throat> excuse me, got some headlines with the F-150 truck. That, that's, that's kind of the workhorse of the American automotive world. I believe it's been the biggest selling vehicle in America for a number of years. Somebody told me, I think I read there's 32 million oh, yeah. on the road. Is that right? I mean, that's, the, the, for, that's a lot. For of something years. like the yeah. last 30 plus years, yeah. it is the number one selling nameplate. Okay. And, and that, that title... Of, of top selling vehicle is really, really important to the manufacturers. It's bragging rights, it's, it's great marketing copy, and Ford has a lot riding on this truck. This truck has to be good because one of the main reasons is, is, is not only they, they wanna have the top selling vehicle, they make a lot of money <laughs> selling, selling trucks because mm -hmm. they make a truck and they may spin off an SUV or two from it. Um, there's a lot of profit built into pickup trucks. So, that, so they, they want to sell a lot of them because it makes them a lot of money. The, the big news about the new F-150, huge uh, use of aluminum in the frame, in the body. They're doing everything they can to make the vehicle lighter. They're not changing the powertrains. They still have the EcoBoost V6, the, the, the five liter V8s, uh, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, crew caps, all that stuff. So uh, uh, it, while, while the v basic uh, uh, powertrain of the vehicle is staying the same, the vehicle is getting lighter, improving acceleration and hopefully improving fuel economy. That's really their goal here. Any worry though that you say to guys who want a rough, tough, pull anything I can, you know, put a chain around, truck. Now it's going to be made out of aluminum. I mean, this, this has been the, the power force of the American right. automotive industry and certainly of Ford. Are they concerned about that at all? I, I don't think so because what, while most people think of aluminum, they think of, you know, of, of, of taking a, a can of Diet Coke and, and crunching that or, you know, Blue Tusky with the uh, Animal House reference. But uh, anyhow, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> dated ourselves here, but um, anyway, um, now the, the aluminum today is, is strong, it's durable, it's, it's fairly lightweight. I think the concerns that we have is how easy is it going to be to repair? Uh, it's not like working with, with regular materials in, in trucks. Our, our independent shop's going to have the tools and the know-how to, to fix an aluminum body, aluminum frame truck. That's, that's really the question that, that Consumer Reports has. And how will the insurance companies handle it when they start seeing repair costs a lot higher for aluminum compared to the old ones? That, that we're still kind of waiting to see. Okay. Let's we'll touch on all of the big three American automakers. Chrysler, the new 200 shown at the Detroit show. What are they looking at there? What are they hoping for? It can only get better. 
The last Chrysler 200 and Consumer Reports test was just scraping the bottom of the barrel. It was it was kind of an afterthought when they put it into production, which is too bad. Uh, th so th they, they really need this, this model to be hit. Uh, it's a mainstream car. It's going to be competing with just about any other sedan that you can think of, whether it's a Camry, a, a Honda Accord, a Nissan Altima. Uh, the styling of it looked really good to my eyes. Uh, they're, they're putting in uh, sophisticated engines, nine-speed automatic transmissions. The idea is to, imp again, improve fuel economy. There's, there's uh, an elegance and a class about it, at least from the outside looking in. Uh, so you know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be interested in, in testing it, putting it through a Consumer Reports battery of tests, because uh, like I said, it, it can only get better. Mike Quincy, Consumer Reports Magazine, always good to have you in, sir. Thanks for having me on.